Lift it. Lift it, lift it. Et j'ai le commun à quoi j'y ai mon nom. Et j'ai le mon nom de l'ouelle. Et j'ai le mon nom de l'ouelle. Beloved, magnify the name of the Lord with me. Let us exhort our most high God together. He has brought us yet to see another day, another week. May his name be forever praised in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the privilege to study at your feet again. May your word refresh us. May your word release unto us that which pertains to us for this season in the name of of Jesus. Amen. Beloved, you are blessed. Welcome to Real World Encounter. Welcome to the continuation of our series. Even as we consider part four in this month of November, exploring what God is making available to, to us this season. Our anchor scripture has been Isaiah chapter 43 verse 18. The prophet speaking said, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. God is speaking to us in this season instructively, deliberately, passionately, and emphatically. He's saying, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. God is speaking to his children, my God. Among the many reasons why God has said to us that we should not remember the former things, neither should we consider it is of old, is what was captured in Haggai chapter 2, verse 9. Scripture said, For the glory of this little house shall be greater than that of the former, said the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, said the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter shall be greater than that of the former. Remember ye not the former things, because the path of the righteous shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. We are stepping unto victory. The Lord is enlarging us on every side, but to take full advantage of the platform that God has designed to elevate us in life, we must remember not the former things, neither should we consider the things of old that is against God's plan in our lives. May I hear you loud. Amen. Permit me to consider Judges chapter 11 today. Looking at verse 2, scripture said, And Gilead's wife bare him sons, and his wife's sons grew up, and they trust out Jephthah, and said unto him, Thou shalt not inherit in our father's house, for thou art the son of a strange woman. Jephthah was the eldest son of his father, but he was at a point in his life thrown out of his father's house by his siblings, saying, You are the son of a strange woman, my God. <laughs> Verse 3 Then Jephthah fled from his brethren and dwelt in the land of Tob, and there were gathered vain men to Jephthah and went out with him. Jephthah was thrown out of his father's house. He didn't go to a particular place to start thinking of what had happened to him, to start crying and wailing and seeking sympathy. He did not organize a pity party. Neither did he coordinate a symposium to think about his past and the embarrassment he has faced. He moved on and he went up. Verse 5, Judges 11, 5. And it was so that when the children of Ammon made war against Israel, the elders of Gilead went to fetch Jephthah out of the land of Tom, my God. The elders of Gilead, who were the persons that threw Jephthah out, verse 2 tells us that it was the sons of the wife of Gilead that threw him out, the young man. 
But when it was time for him to be reinstated, it was the elders that went to do for him. Judges 11, 7, And Jephthah said unto the elders of Gilead, Did not ye hate me, and ye expel me out of my father's house? Why are ye come unto me now, when ye are in distress? Verse 8. And the elders of Gilead said unto Jephthah, Therefore we turn again to thee now, that thou mayest go with us and fight against the children of Ammon, and be our head over all the inhabitants of Gilead, my God. The sons, the young men, threw him out. Now the elders went to fetch him, not just bringing him back to his father's house, but bring him back to become the head over all the inhabitants of Gilead. My God, my God, my God, my God. Remember ye not the former things. Have you been disgraced? Have you been embarrassed? Have you been disappointed? No matter what you have come through, the Lord is saying, do not remember the former things. For somebody today, where you've been humiliated, you'll be honored in the name of Jesus. The young man threw him out, but elders came to restore him and made him the head over the whole lineage of Gideon. We shall not just be restored, we shall be restored with double honor in the name of Jesus. Let me hear your loud amen. Let me hear your believing amen. Isaiah 43, 18. Remember, you know the format is neither consider the things of old. Beloved, don't allow the things that men did to you in the past to deprive you and discourage you from believing in what God is set to do. The Lord is saying expressly to us in this season, remember you know the former things, neither consider the things of old. It is time for a giant leap. It is time to take the next step that will launch you into success. The number of faith attempts we have had can never in any way deprive us from entering into our glorious destiny if and only if we make up our mind not to remember the former things and we make up our mind not to consider the things of old. I'm happy to announce to somebody today that our God is the ancient of days. Lies shall fall unto us in pleasant places, but we must position ourselves our right in order to align with God's purpose for our lives. May I hear your love. Amen. May these words bring blessings to us today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you've not given your life to Jesus, please say these words after me so that these words that you've had today will begin a process of restoration in your life. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you died and rose again for me. I confess my sins to you today. Forgive me, Lord, and give me the grace to live a life pleasing unto you till your coming. In the name of Jesus, amen. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for the land of Edosid. We pray for the land of Nigeria. We pray for Africa and the rest of the world. May your word have free course in the name of Jesus. And may the elect be strengthened. May the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ penetrate to the ends of the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Until we come your way again with another edition of Real World Encounter, don't forget, you are not a low ranger, you are a high flyer. You are not a local champion, you are a global wonder, my God. Your condition is not your conclusion. Give God praise, amen.